I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on geometry. Here is another application question where we are going to use the theorem that the length of tangents from an external point is always same. So two equal tangents theorem. The question here is two tangent circles are inscribed in a right triangle ABC. So that is the right triangle ABC with side lengths of 6, 8 and 10 units as shown in the figure below. So let me just uh, write ABC here and 6, 8 and 10. So let's write this length here as 6, that is 8 and this one is 10. Okay. Find the exact radius of the smaller circle. So basically we need to find the radius of the smaller circle. This is what we need to find, R. That is the question. Now let us see how to solve this particular question. Now as far as this uh, bigger circle is concerned, uh, it is inscribed within a triangle. The other circle is also, both are on this particular angle, AC, B. Now it's kind of important to understand that their centers can be connected directly with the vertex C. So this is going to be a straight line, right? So we'll call these points as P and Q. So we say P, Q and C lie on the angle bisector. Correct? So the angle bisector, angle C bisector. Is it okay? So therefore, they are collinear. Perfect. Only then you can have a circle inscribed. So same distance from both, right? So that's the key to understand here. Now, let us say that this uh, big circle radius is uh, capital R. Okay. So now these two points will also be capital R away. Clear? So, so as you can see, the distance from a point C to this will be same. So let me say that we have these points are x, y, z, let's say, right? Say x, y, and z. So if you look at point C, in that case, C to y is equal to C to x. These two distances are equal. Since we have two points, these two points, which are on a tangent from an external point, right? And how much is Cy? Since that is R, both are equals to 8 minus R. So this is 8 minus R. Correct? So this is 8 minus R. And the reason is, that we have two tangents from external point, right? So tangents from external point. Equal. Right? So that means this side here is 8 minus capital R. Okay. On the other hand, a to z should be equal to a to x because of the same reason. From point A, these are the two tangents to the circle. And that distance will be how much? Now, this is r, right? So, this is from here to here is r. So, it is 6 minus r. So, this is 6 minus r. Right? So we can write this as 6 minus r. Okay. As you can now clearly see that their sum should be 10. 
So what we notice here is that 6 minus r plus 8 minus r should be equal to 10. So that basically means taking r's to the other side, 6 plus 8 minus 10 equals to 2 times r and that is 4 equals to 2 times r and that gives you r as equal to 2, correct? 4 divided by 2. So we get this length as 2. So we know now bigger radius which is 2. Now in this particular diagram since we know the capital value r we know all of the lengths so we can say that this is 8 minus r means it is 6 correct and that is also 6. So since we know 2 and 6 we can find what pc is correct. So let's work on this side further. So now we know that p to c is equal to square root of 2 square plus 6 square which is 4 plus 36 or square root of 40 which is 4 times 4 is 2, 2 square root 10. So we get this length p to c as 2 square root 10. p to c is 2 square root 10. Okay. So let's highlight this. Okay. Now, in the triangle p, y, c and q, let's call this point as uh, m, let's say, right. They are similar triangles, right these two triangles are similar. So what we have here is that the triangle PYC is similar to triangle QMC. Correct? These two are parallel lines, right? They are perpendicular both to BC and they have a common vertex here so parallel lines they give you similar triangles so since they are similar triangles we can now relate the ratios so we can say r over 2 so we get r over 2 is equal to c to q over the whole length c to p now we know what CP is or PC is, which is 2 square root 10, right? So CQ over 2 square root 10. So that gives you the value of CP in terms of R, right? So CQ will be equal to 2 square root 10 times R over 2 or 2 and 2 cancel. So R times square root 10. Is that clear to you? So we get the value of C to Q, which is this length, C to Q. Now if you notice, here this length is 2 units since we found capital R and this is R. And we know that P to C is 2 square root 10. So we can now write that 2 square root 10 should be, this whole length should be equal to 2 plus R plus this distance CQ, which is R square root 10. Now in this equation, so what we did was, let's summarize, we say this whole length P to C is combination of 2 R and CQ, where CQ is R square root 10. Do you see that? So what we get here is an equation where only R is the variable, right? So we can now bring 2 to this side. So we have 2 square root 10 minus 2 equals 2. We have r here, r square root 10. We can take r common, square root 10 plus 1. We can take 2 common. So we get 2 times square root 10 minus 1 over square root 10 plus 1 is equals to r. So that becomes the value of r. Correct? You can of course rationalize this. 
and get the final answer, right? So, so if you want to rationalize, we can just extend this uh, limited space. So R will be equal to, we multiply and divide by square root 10 minus 1. So we, we could get 2 times square root 10 minus 1 whole square divided by A square minus B square, which is 10 minus 1. Correct. So we can get the value of R as equal to 2. 10 minus 1 is 9. And here we get A square, which is 10 minus 2ab, so minus 2 square root 10, plus b square, plus 1, correct? Or you could write this as equal to, let me just push this page a bit, okay? I hope you can see, r equals to 2 over 9, within brackets, we get 10 plus 1 as 11 minus 2 square root 10. Is that clear to you? So that becomes the value of R, right? So let's rewrite here. R is equal to 2 over 9 within brackets 11 minus 2 square root 10. So we rationalize this particular expression and then wrote our answer. And of course, any units, right? In any units. So that is how we can actually solve this particular question. So again, the important theorem which works here is equal tangent theorem. Right? So remember, it's an application of equal tangent theorem. Now because of that equal tangent theorem, we could decide that these sides should be equal. Here it is 8 minus r those sides are also equal, 6 minus r. Since the total length is 10, we found the value of r to be 2. And then we have a similar triangle here. This straight line actually has both the centers since it is angle bisector of angle C, right? So angle bisector of angle C, correct? And now we, on the similar line basis, we have the ratio of the sides to be equal Substituting the value of P to C, we found a relation with R and then we calculated the value as shown here. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.